Never thought I'd see Manhattan this way. Beautiful city, huh? A city I almost destroyed. The past is the past, Connors. Let's focus on the future. Or at least the present. Let's go to my apartment. There you go. Door-to-door -door service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I I'm house-sitting for the summer. I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab. In the sewer. Oh, this'll do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, over here. I guess we start with getting whatever equipment you need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kind of old, but it works. A few books for reference over there, not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there. And the television. Guess we should see if we've made the news. We're stunned today when Kirk Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Beloit Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. Now, back to our main story. <sighs> I guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc, if you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we gonna need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. But it won't be easy to locate. <laughs> no problem there. I broke into Oscorp once. I can do it again. Peter, be careful. If Oscorp was continuing my work in secret, we don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? <laughs> You do remind me of him. Your father. Oh, uh, Gwen's calling. Pete. Gwen! I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of prison? It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. <gasps> can he bring my father back? Gwen. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I had no choice, but he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to Oscorp's archive facility. Just hold on a little while longer. I'm on my way. Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. Uh, Smythe says he's working on a solution. I'm going to get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. Gwen's been through a lot. I murdered her father, Peter. You didn't kill anyone. 
It was the lizard. I want to believe you. Let's make Gwen believe it. Peter, wait. What are these things? Oh yeah, I was working on those before everything went down. I call them my spider tracers. Long story short, if I stick this on a police antenna, I should be able to listen to everything they say. Should? I haven't exactly had time to try them out yet. No time like the present, though, huh? I'll make a detour on the way to Oscorp Archives. <laughs> 